Well, hello there, Virgo. How are you? It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today, we are doing your weekly tarot reading. This is good for February 12th through the 18th. We'll take a look at the overall energies with the oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. Let's see what we have here. Fogged in. Go slow. Take time. Okay, Virgo, we're going to see where that goes. Um, I, I think it was Libra that had that same card. You know, understanding that when we're fogged in, it's, it's just an energy of taking a closer look at what is around you. You know, slowing down a little bit, um, perhaps not being quite so focused on getting to the destination, but a little bit more of enjoying the ride. And Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide. I am not sure. Did you have, I think you had the Buffalo Spirit last week. Um, it's this energy of going slow. I feel like you're almost like in pan, the energy I have is that you're almost in panic energy, energy panic mode. Jeez, I can't speak. Um, there's something there with that. It's, yeah, it's like you're talking so fast, right? You can't even communicate clearly. It's this energy of, it's like time is running out. That's how I feel. Time is running out. Time is running out. I have to get this done. You're being slowed down. Okay, because it's it's the energy of understanding that the, the universe will provide, you will be okay, you don't have to rush. It's something about enjoying the journey, which is different than the Libra energy. Yeah, community, financial, oh yes. Okay, attachment, yeah. I feel like you're, you're almost, wow, okay. I know we have Valentine's Day <laughs> on um, the 14th during this week. Are you uh, attached? Are you feeling? There's almost an energy here of feeling like time is running out, perhaps in your romantic sector, which I really wasn't um, picking up at first, but I'm kind of wondering, are you feeling, you know, especially with Valentine's day, that can be a, a, a difficult day for, you know, some of us. Um, is it that you're, you're feeling like you have to, you, you only have so long or a pressure because you have, friends or family that are asking <laughs> about, you know, your romantic life or something or about your job or your career. Like the, I get the question, the, the idea of questions being just like kind of thrown at you and you're kind of like, I don't even know the answer. You know, it's kind of like maybe you've been dating somebody for a, a while and you, you, you're talking to your mom and she's like, are you ever going to get engaged? And you're kind of like, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it, you know, or you've started your own business or something like that. And people keep asking you, oh, how's it going? And it's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you know, it's that type of energy. I don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, you're anxious. Okay, so let's figure this out. You have chop wood and I feel like you're kind of, you're confused about what you're supposed to do on a daily basis. Okay, so we need to help find clarity about how to become more confident. And then you have the two of cups again with the eight of swords, okay? So once again, I feel like there is this energy where there is, okay, it's a, a little bit of this energy where <laughs> you you may want, right? I mean, when in your perfect world, you wish you could ask somebody, okay, for advice on love or advice on your business, right? Like you're getting all these questions, but it's kind of like confusing you so much, right? And it's almost like, I wish I could get inspired, right? But your your heart, you're, you're kind of like, worried that you're going to fail at it it's almost like okay say you haven't dated in a while it's almost this energy of being so confused i don't even know how to start where do i start finding people to to date you know what do people do on dates anymore it could be even something like that right you're you're like yes i'd like to get inspired i'd like to get passionate maybe you've even had somebody ask you out and you're like i don't know i don't even know how to dress for a date. i don't know how, what to do. I don't know what to say, right? 
and that's what the chop wood is. It's it's kind of like I don't know the process of dating. Or perhaps it is about, you know, starting a business. May you even start your business, but you're kind of like, I don't know, what am I supposed to do every day? You know? It's and and because of this confusion, you're you're not feeling passionate about it, right? You're not inspired. You're kind of like caught up in the in the details of it, you know? Virgo, I feel like a little bit of your perfectionism is coming into play here. You know, you're you're allowing your mind to only see, you know, your flaws or the fact that you are not confident about how to move forward in this. So let's take a look at your present energy. Yeah, you have nine of swords, you know, sleepless nights, not knowing how to move forward. Well, how is this going to end? How do I attract in clients, customers? lovers you know it's like i don't know where to go you know and with the flexible i feel like you've almost like you're bending over backwards trying to make people happy you know those could be the people in your life that are asking you all these questions and you're like i don't know i'm, I'm, I'm you know can we talk about it later <laughs> i mean i just get that really frustrated energy that you have because you have community right? It's like your community really loves you. They want to support you, but it's like you don't even know how they can support you, you know? You could even have, you know, your mother, your aunt, your, your best friend. Everybody's trying to set you up for a date on Valentine's Day or something like that, right? And you're just like, I don't know. I don't, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that, you know? Or maybe you're like, I don't want to do that. And they're like, no, no, you should go. And it's just confusing you because you're listening to the external. You know, you're having pressure coming in from the external. And at the same time, you can't hear what your heart truly wants. So let's see what we have here. Yeah. Ten of Cups. I love this. Oh my goodness. Okay, Virgo. This is right underneath. This is on the other underneath. This is your subconscious. Your subconscious really does want to be happy. It really does want to find victory, okay? In whatever it is that your heart is truly desiring, there's something with the wheel of fortune, right? Knowing something is destined on your path, finding your confidence to go after it. And I really love this because it is about re-tapping into what your heart truly desires. Now, for some of you, I, 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 you know, it's interesting. You could be looking at the past at something that you would like to go back. You see how the, the Knight of Swords is going into the past, right? There could be something that you want to go back, go back to that at the time you didn't think was your Ten of Cups. And now you're kind of seeing it in a new way. You want to be victorious in it. For others of you, it could be something from your childhood that you never got to really do. And it's kind of like, wait a minute, I want to go back. I'm determined. I'm going to go back and try that again. And whether it's a romantic partner, it's a job, a career, a talent, a gift, a creative ability, you know, whatever it is, it's kind of like, I want to go back there. But you have so much pressure to deal with what's right in front of you. So let's see what your obstacle is. Yeah, building blocks, three of cups, financial constraints. You're feeling the pinch. I, get, I can feel that. You're feeling the pinch. Pinch of time, pinch of money, right? Maybe the pinch of love. There's a sense of... You're feeling pinched at this time. There's something that you want to go build that's really near and dear to your heart with the Three of Cups, something that you would like to celebrate. Something, once again, community. It could be that you want to reunite, maybe with your family, a past love, a, a job that you had in the past, or you know the prospect of opening your own business that you wanted to start a long time ago, but then you know maybe before the pandemic. And then it was kind of like, okay, well, we're, we had the shift, you know, things are happening in the world, which is true. But now it's kind of like, wait a minute, I want to go back. But you're, you're worried about, you know, the financial constraints is also a little bit about your sense of worthiness that you may feel like you're not worthy of having what it is that your heart truly desires. So let's take a look at that. Yeah. Okay, so Virgo, 
you know, the thing is, is that there's some big disappointment in the past that has left you feeling rejected or abandoned. You know, and this is really coming out to play at this time. It, that is what is confusing you. It's it's a little bit of time, right? You're fogged in at this time so that you can sit with these feelings and allow them to come up. Um, and it'll help you to regain your power, okay? So uh, let's take, for instance, because I feel like you have a lot of anxiety. So the next time that you feel this anxiety come up, right? And I know for me, sometimes the anxiety comes up in the form of not being able to focus <laughs> when I'm working, right? It's kind of like I have monkey mind. There's all these different things, right? And I can't get those thoughts out of my head. And at the same time, I can't focus on what it is that I'm trying to do. So what I've learned is in those times to just kind of like stop, and, you know, put my hand on my heart and just kind of like allow the emotions. What emotions? Because I feel like when I'm anxious, it's because there are emotions that want to come up that I'm kind of like forcing down. No, I don't want to look at those yet. Now, these emotions are getting stronger. So if you're having a lot of anxiety, it's about, okay, name these emotions that are coming up. You know, I don't feel good enough. I don't feel loving enough. I don't feel um, attractive enough. I don't feel smart enough. I don't feel rich enough. Whatever it is, you know, uh, allowing those feelings to come up sometimes, okay, is all that needs to be acknowledged <laughs> to actually label, you know, just sit there and just allow them to come up. It doesn't matter why you have those feelings. You don't have to get into that. It's just recognizing what your heart is wanting you to know. It's almost that. I'll have to say it was in the Libra reading now that they're reminding me of that you know of just recognizing being fogged in because it's just it's a time to recognize the feelings that maybe you have not yet put a name on it's once we put a name on our feelings it's almost you know a sense of releasing them and once we release them we have our power back because I feel like you're putting a lot of time and energy really and truly on keeping your anxiety or your feelings at bay. And I've been there, right? It's kind of like, okay, I'm going to, you know, stay really busy or I'm going to look like I'm busy or I'm going to pretend that I'm busy, right? But meanwhile, you're just kind of like putting down the anxiety, the fears, you know, instead of really looking at them. Because I feel like your heart really wants to do something, but once again, it's your sense of self-doubt, your feelings of unworthiness that are coming up, or the feelings of disappointment from the past that are preventing you from stepping into that energy. Yeah, it's time to make a decision, okay? It's time to decide to go in the direction that your heart truly wants you to go in, because right now, the problem is, is that, you know, you are holding yourself back. You're allowing these feelings, the, these fears to kind of sabotage what it is that you want. It's time for a change. It's time to say, okay, wait a minute. You know, there's something I want to go back and revisit. I think you do want to go back and revisit. The reason that you're not revisiting a job, a career, a relationship, a family situation from the past is because, wow, there's a lot of hurt feelings. You know, there are people that, or situations that really, you know, brought you to your knees. It's recognizing, okay, that, that situation brought me to my knees. You may have walked away without voicing those feelings, right? And because of that, it's like you're having a hard time getting back into your power. It's about, okay, wait a minute. I want to go back and revisit that. I want to go and have that conversation, not out of spite or anything like that. It's a, a matter of voicing it. For some of you, all you may need to do is name the feelings, right? For others of you, you may actually want to go back and revisit a, a relationship or revisit a hobby or a creative project or a job that you had in the past. Go back and talk to your employer, you know? Hey, wait a minute, I think I'd like another shot at this job or whatever it is. 
It's like recognizing, okay, I walked away, but you, I feel like you walked away because you were really hurt, right? Something happened. You were really hurt. You didn't get the promotion you were expecting, right? You didn't get the raise that you were expecting. So instead of having that conversation then, right, you walked away. You've been keeping these feelings at bay, but now you can't anymore. You're kind of being fogged in. It's about going back. And at least if you don't actually have the conversation with this person, maybe writing it out. Not that you have to send it, right? But writing it out and then maybe having a little burning ceremony or something. Releasing those feelings about how you feel because they really are preventing you from stepping onto a new path, taking a new direction in your life. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it really... I feel like you're wanting this, yeah, judgment. My goodness. I, I mean, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, Virgo. You know, I can, I, I, I can kind of relate because there, oh, I mean, we all have, you know, personal experiences of not being able to say what we really want to say. But I had this one because um, I was a teacher, I had a principal once and I never really kind of had that conversation, right? I, I just, I, I was too afraid, to be honest, to have that conversation at that time. And I just kind of like walked away and just, okay. But in the end, I realized, you know, it really affected the, my relationship with her. It affected the way that I kind of like, you know, came to my job because I didn't feel like I was heard. But the truth of the matter is, is that I didn't share my feelings. Wow. Right. I mean, I was upset at the time because I wanted to do something and, <laughs> and she said no. Um, and I was really, truly really upset. But instead of kind of like voicing how I felt about being denied something that I really wanted to do. I just kind of like walked away and I, I, I did. Now when I think about it, I did kind of hold a grudge for a while. It was like, okay, well, because I was a really hardworking teacher. I kind of like pulled back my energy a little bit, right? But I wonder, now that I'm thinking about it, right? <laughs> now that, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, and this is coming up in this reading, I kind of wonder, I wonder if I had really and truly voiced in a nice way, respectful way, how I really felt at that time. If I'm not saying she would have changed her mind, right? But at least I would have felt heard because I didn't feel heard. And I know what you're going to say. Well, you told her what you wanted. She said no, but then I didn't express my feelings about how I felt at that time. Because to be honest, I was over, I, I was very emotional inside. I, I don't think I showed that on my face. I probably did a little bit, right? But I, I held my, my voice and I just said, okay, and walked out of the office, right? But there was a part of me that was really upset. So I feel like it's something like that. Like you want to go back and just... Once again, you don't actually have to have the conversation, but you want to go back and have that conversation or write it in a letter. You don't have to send it, but it's about revisiting that, re reconnecting to the feelings that you had when it happened, because I had not thought about that <laughs> situation with my principal in some time. And I can feel the emotions of how I felt, right? Right. And it's about reconnecting to your feelings there because I feel like when you do, right? When you judge again the situation, how you, I feel like maybe what you're thinking is that this person should know how you feel, but down deep inside, they really don't, right? And so you're kind of like blocking, okay? Moving into this new direction, choosing from your heart, Look at this, the sun, the four of wands, the strength card. For some of you, this could have been a relationship that you walked away from, okay? I don't think, you know, you walked away, okay? But you never expressed exactly how you felt. And, you know, now it's kind of like, okay, could have that been the happy family, the happy home card? You know, you could have walked away from a job. And now what you're recognizing is, 
Wow. If I maybe stated how I felt, how would that have changed the outcome? And now I feel like you have this window of opportunity. These feelings are coming up for a reason. It's about looking at that and then saying, well, wait a minute. You know, they don't know how I felt. That's the truth of the matter is that I feel like you're judging a little bit, you know, that person because you walked away and maybe they didn't come after you or you walked away and they just thought, oh, Virgo's fine. <laughs> no problem with Virgo. But you think that they should know how hurt you are. The problem is you haven't voiced how hurt you are. All right, so Virgo, <laughs> I, I think that, that that is part of why you have been fogged in. It's about having that conversation or at least recognizing within yourself how you feel. And that's why I feel like if this anxiety comes up, it's about recognizing your own feelings, right? Your own feelings, because it's almost like you've pushed them down so far. You aren't able to even recognize those feelings. Okay, so Virgo, let's get some final um, advice here for you. And I do do personal readings, so if you'd be interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. Make a decision. Hmm. Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance pointing you towards your own joy. You deserve it. Yeah, I feel like there's almost this energy where you're giving your power to this other person. And because of that, you can't make a decision about how to proceed. I think you want to know, what would have happened if I had said, blah, blah, blah? What would have happened if I had said, my feelings are hurt, right? I feel unheard. I love you, <laughs> right? Maybe if you had said something, and I think that that's what you want to know before you step into this next chapter, right? It's almost a little bit of going back and clearing out that energy and saying, okay, now I know what the answer is, right? I see clearly now that, okay, that, that wouldn't, it, it still doesn't mean it would have worked out, right? For some of you, it might reunite a, a, a relationship from the past. But either way, then you kind of know. It's kind of like closing out that energy one way or another so that you can proceed towards <laughs> this sun, right? Your joy, your fulfillment, your abundance, your happy family, happy home. You know, just having the strength, getting your power back after a long time of giving up your power in some way. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. I do wish you so much love and light, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.